What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about both silver and gold and kind of go over the be your own bank concept and how you can essentially do things on your own terms without having to worry about anybody overseeing you or asking for permission or anything like that. But we also have to talk about a major shift in consumer spending habits and what type of an impact I believe it's going to have on the economy, especially in the short term. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, you can watch Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's videos all right now if you want to, and every Saturday morning I post a brand new vlog. And of course, last but not least, make sure to go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Refer one friend and they're going to give you all the way up to 100 free random stocks. And if you refer two friends by the end of the month, they're going to give you either a free share of Starbucks, Apple, or Google. Everything will be linked in the description. So today is Thursday, May 19th, 2022. The spot price of silver as I'm filming the video, is $21.79. It's up $0.41 cents today so far, or up 1.92%. A strong green day for the beautiful white metal. Spot price of gold is $18.34.50. It's up $17.50, or up 0.96%. A strong green day for the beautiful yellow metal as well. And, of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 84 to 85 to one range but of course that's as I'm filming the video at like 9 45 in the morning not as I'm editing posting or as you're watching so head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you I'm always curious so today I wanted to talk about a couple of different things related to the silver and gold I've made a couple of videos in the past about being your own bank and that's not exactly what I wanted to talk about but there was one concept related to that that I really wanted to laser in on today. And obviously you can see that we have a nice little display here on screen. Bunch of silver, bunch of gold. But guess what? Before we can even get into the money, I think we need to first talk about the currency. More specifically, the general state of the economy and what's going on right now. Because I believe we are in the process of seeing a major shift in consumer spending habits. All right, so I'm sure it's no surprise that just by leaving your house in the morning, you can tell that things aren't going the way that they should be going right now. Rampant inflation, supply chain constraints, a war, Elon Musk wanting to put the cocaine back in Coca-Cola. We're getting hit from all angles right now, and regular, everyday, working-class people like myself and probably like you are getting the worst of it. We are in the really uncomfortable stage of transitioning out of an overstimulated economy. No more stimulus checks, no more tax credits, no more free borrowing of money. But people still have more money today than they had pre-pandemic back in 2019. And they're still spending like crazy. So why are we seeing such horrible earnings reports coming from companies like Walmart and Target if people are still spending more money than they've ever spent before. If you take a look at Home Depot's latest report, you can see that revenue isn't too bad, but the number of transactions are on a steady decline. That means right now, people are spending more money, but they're shopping less often. And the reason they're spending more money in the first place is just simply because prices have gone up. But they're cutting back on how frequently they're shopping. Without the price increases, Home Depot would be in trouble right now. Like what's happening at other big companies. And also, side note, I've been saying for several weeks now that obviously the precious metals have taken a hit. The stock market has taken a hit. The digital currencies have taken a hit. And I've been saying that Real estate is next to get smacked. I see that in the very near future. And with that being the case, when that happens, say a prayer for Home Depot, because when real estate takes a hit, 
Home Depot takes a hit as well. But anyway, I believe we are seeing a major shift in consumer spending habits right now. People are in fact spending, but they're spending less on things to own and spending more on things to do. They're not going to the store and going after as much apparel as they were going after, as much furniture, as much home goods as they were going after. They're spending more on things to do. For example, Disney is doing fantastic right now, just as an example. But that just goes for the overwhelming majority of people. Higher income earners are still spending as usual as they were several months or several years ago when it comes to all of these things like home goods and apparel and even video game consoles and whatnot. But the rest of the people out there, the middle class, regular, average, everyday people, they might be spending more money on these things, but that's just because the prices have gone up. They've cut back on how often they're going to the store. And I thought that this was pretty interesting. And the reason I wanted to point it out is because I personally believe that this major shift in consumer spending habits is absolutely going to have an impact on the economy, and it's definitely having an impact on the stock market, at least in the short term. I mean, we can already see the S&P 500 is down 1.01%. The Dow Jones is down 1.35%, and the NASDAQ is down 0.7% today so far. Again, filming this video at like 9.45 in the morning, God only knows what the rest of the day is going to bring us. I just wanted to showcase this as an example. And really quick, since we're speaking of stocks, friendly reminder, go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble, funding your account, refer one friend, and they're going to give you all the way up to 100 free random stocks. And if you refer two friends by the end of the month, they're going to give you either a free share of Starbucks, Apple, or Google. Weeble link in the description. Time is running out. But now before we move on to the silver and gold, I want to ask you guys a question. Do you think that this major shift in consumer spending habits will have a long-lasting impact on the economy? And if so, you think it'll have a positive impact or a negative impact? Head on down to the comments and let me know. But now moving away from all that, moving away from the stock market, moving away from consumer spending habits and the general state of the economy and everything related to that, let's now talk about the silver and the gold. Sitting here on display, we have a nice little selection. We have the Creatures of the North Werewolf, Creatures of the North Kraken, Queen's Beast Yale, Queen's Beast Greyhound, a 1-ounce Westminster bar, a 10-ounce Sunshine bar, a 10-ounce Bull bar, a 5-ounce Aztec calendar round, nice little pile of 90% junk constitutional silver, some Mercury dimes, I think we have some Roosevelt dimes in there, some Walking Liberty half dollars, and of course some fractional gold lined up at the bottom, 10-ounce Kookaburra, 10th ounce Britannia, 10th ounce Maple, quarter ounce Philharmonic, 10th ounce Eagle, 10th ounce Krugerrand, and 10th ounce Philharmonic. Nice little display. But what I wanted to talk about today related to silver and gold is one of the be your own bank concepts. I didn't want to make this video a be your own bank video. I've made a few of those over the years and I actually just made one maybe one or two months ago and it did very, very well. It was about how to be your own bank in 2022 with silver, gold, and even cash. You should definitely go and watch that video. The link will be in the description. And everything that you see on display right here pretty much summarizes my way of going about stacking and, and really, for the most part, what I have focused on over the years. Rounds, bars, some coins, as of lately, a lot of constitutional, and obviously when it comes to gold, nothing but fractional. And I actually have something arriving in the mail today. It's something that has nothing to do with any of this. It's actually my very first something that's graded, and it should arrive today. It's out for delivery, but I think we all know how USPS works. Apparently that doesn't mean anything nowadays, 
but it should arrive today. And if it does, I'm going to be doing a VIP Club Live unboxing. And this graded item, along with another, because I have two coming in the mail. One should be coming in on Saturday. These are going to be VIP exclusives. So if you want to know what it is and if you want to watch it be unboxed and talk a little bit about it, come and join us in the VIP Club. Link in the description. But everything that you're looking at on screen right here pretty much summarizes what I've been going after. Slightly larger denomination silver bars, fractional 90% silver coins, some fractional gold coins as well. And what you're looking at right here is a pretty good, or at least I think it's a pretty good example of diversification when it comes to the silver that you're stacking and the gold that you're stacking. A little bit of everything, somewhat. And when it comes to being your own bank, again, that's not the direction I'm going to take this video, but there was something that I was thinking about. And it's pretty cool because being your own bank means quite literally just that, banking on your own terms. You decide what the rules are. You decide how things go. You decide if you're going to give yourself a loan. You decide if you're going to pay yourself interest. It's 100% on you. Being your own bank and banking on your terms, not Wells Fargo's terms, not Chase's terms, not Bank of America's terms, not City's terms, none of that. Your own terms. And if you're ever in a rough situation, if you're ever dealing with some personal financial hardships, if you're ever going through a bump in the road, something interesting you can do is give yourself a loan, especially if you're stacking the silver and gold. And what I mean by that is this. If you need, let's just say, 200 something dollars, let's just say 200 to 250 dollars, you can go into the stack, you can take out a 10 ounce silver bar. You can take that silver bar to the local coin shop and you can get the cash that you need for it. You want to know what you do at that point? And this is not something that I've ever done, but this is something that I would absolutely do if I ever needed to part ways with any portion of the stack. You write yourself a receipt. You write it down on a piece of paper, pen and paper. You write down that you took out a 10 ounce silver bar so that you could pay for this over here. And you want to know what you do at that point? You can add a little bit of interest. If you borrowed 10 ounces of silver from yourself, maybe you should pay yourself back 11 ounces of silver. So if you're banking on your own terms and you're giving yourself a loan, I don't see any harm with paying yourself interest. You borrowed it from yourself. You should owe yourself for that. You should absolutely pay yourself back, but I think you should add interest. But that's obviously only if you're in a situation where you have no choice but to dip into the stack. I think generally speaking, that's not really something you should do. That should be an absolute last resort thing, at least in my opinion. Not a financial advisor. That's just kind of my way of going about doing things. Not once have I had to dip into the stack and part ways with anything. I've never gotten rid of any of my silver, never gotten rid of any of my gold, never traded any of it for cash. It's all been in my possession. Unless, of course, I gave away some silver for a giveaway or something like that, but that's a different story. I've never sold any of my silver or gold. I've never converted any of it back into cash. I've never done that before. And fingers crossed, I hope to God, I'll never have to do that. Because that's not why I'm stacking. But here's what's interesting. It's really satisfying knowing that the silver and gold is there for me if I absolutely need it. If I'm ever in a rough situation, if I'm ever going through a rough patch, at least I know the precious metals are there for me because I've been building a bank for myself the same way I've been building a gym for myself, the same way I've been building a library for myself. I have my own library, I have my own gym, and now I have my own bank. And I know that if something were to go down, I could always just grab a little bit of silver, grab a little bit of gold, part ways with it if I absolutely needed to, 
and I probably stand a far better chance than most other people out there who have absolutely nothing in savings. The average person out there is not stacking silver. The average person out there is not stacking gold. And you want to know what's even scarier than that? The average person isn't even stacking cash. The overwhelming majority of people could not even afford a $500 emergency. That's coming from a Forbes article. Most people don't even have $500 in savings. So if you have $500, quote unquote, worth of silver or quote unquote, worth of gold, you're already ahead of the game. But you want to know something that I think you should have on top of that? Probably $500 in cash or more, preferably more, preferably a lot more. I think that's part of being your own bank. I think that's part of the diversification. I think that's part of doing what you need to do to financially prepare yourself for as many different situations as possible. I think that's part of the game. I think that's the ultimate strategy. Figuring out what type of situation could come your way figure out a whole list of situations that are likely to come your way, whether they're likely or maybe even unlikely, but things that could happen, things that happen to people on a regular basis, and figure out a way to combat those issues as best you can. That's why I think having a little bit of cash isn't just a good idea. I think it's mandatory. In my opinion, it almost feels like if you're not stacking cash, you're stacking wrong. I think you need to have a little bit of cash on the sidelines for the short term. You want to know why? So that if and when something were to happen, you don't need to dip into the silver. You don't need to dip into the gold because you could just grab the cash. And guess what? If a period of time goes by and you haven't needed to use the cash for anything and it just sat there doing absolutely nothing as an unproductive little piece of paper that devalues over time, then guess what? Good. I'd rather that happen than for me to get rid of the dollar bills and put them into other things and something were to go down and then I have to liquidate, then I have to sell off a portion of what I own. I'd rather not sell. I'd rather keep a little bit of cash on the sidelines. Now, do I keep a lot of cash on the sidelines? No. I have a cash emergency fund. I have a cash gold fund because I am in fact saving up for my next gold coin, so I have a little bit of cash separated elsewhere and I keep feeding the fire little by little by little, and I'm saving up for my next gold coin, hoping to go after a bigger one this time. And that's pretty much the strategy. That's pretty much the game plan. For me, anyway, having a little bit of cash on the sidelines in a couple of different areas. I have a cash emergency fund, obviously. I have a checking account for the regular running bills, because pretty much every single one of my purchases are made on a credit card. That way I can get the cash back. And that way I can keep track of everything. I can keep a log of all of my purchases and, and I can do my own bookkeeping. Almost everything's done on a credit card. And that's paid off with my checking account. I have cash for other things. I have cash for silver that I use on a slightly more frequent basis. I have cash for gold that I'm just holding on to right now because I don't have enough to get the gold coin that I want. I have different piles of cash kept in different places for different reasons, but I try not to keep all that much of it because I'd rather put it into something. I would rather do three things with my cash, and that's it, only three things, as opposed to just letting it sit there and, and devalue. Of course, that's what a cash emergency fund, yeah, it's just inevitable, that's just what happens. But there are three things that I would much rather do with my cash. Number one, convert it into something that stands a better chance of storing value, aka silver and gold. Sure, silver and gold have their ups and downs, but that's all in the short term. When it comes to the long term, I personally believe that the precious metals will absolutely 100% without a doubt come out on top. That's my belief, and that's why I'm stacking the silver and gold. So that's the first thing that I would do convert it into something that I believe stands a better chance of storing value than the dollar bill. The second thing I would like to do is invest it into something that would generate more of those dollar bills. Take my currency and put it into something that creates more currency. And then of course three, spend it on something 
that I know for an absolute fact will save me currency in the long run. My water purification unit, by the way. I'm not gonna plug it, I'm not paid by them, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I do have the Berkey water purification unit and I got it probably about three, maybe even three and a half years ago at this point. I believe that's probably how long I've had it for. And at the time it cost me about $250, kind of pricey. But guess what? I haven't bought a single bottle of water since. And back then I was drinking about a gallon a day and I was buying seven gallons of water every single week for that reason alone. It would cost me $7 a week spent on gallons of water. And guess what? I spent $250 on a water purification unit and after 250 days had gone by, I had already saved $250 that I would ordinarily be spending on gallons of water. And guess what? On day 251, at that point, straight save money. And in my view, in my stance, I think that's almost like profiting in a way. So at that point, I was no longer spending any currency on bottles of water. And that was just after 250 days. At that point, that's when I officially started to save money. I broke even. That was 250 days in. It's been three years. I haven't bought a single bottle of water. I haven't bought a single case of water. I haven't bought a single gallon jug of water in three years because of that right there. And I'm not lasering in on the purification unit for any particular reason other than that. I've spent currency on other products for similar reasons as well because I knew that it would help me save currency in the long run. That was the mission. Those are the three main things that I like to do with my currency, or should I say, the currency that's left over after I take care of all of the bills, which by the way, isn't very much. I don't have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to work with at the end of every single month. That would be nice, but I work with what I have, where I am, and I do the best that I can even if it's just $10, even if it's $1,000. I, I do whatever I can to take those dollar bills and do those three things with them. Convert it into something that sends a better chance of storing value, invest it into something that will help me generate more, or spend it on something that I know is gonna save me currency in the long run. That's the strategy, that's the game plan, that's really all I try to do with my leftover dollar bills, which again, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of leftover dollar bills, but the ones that are left over, I try to squeeze as much out of as possible, if that makes sense. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. This was a video that was pretty much two videos in one. The first half of the video, I talked about one thing. Second half of the video, I talked about something else. Tomorrow's video is gonna be very similar and Saturday's video, same thing. You can watch all of those videos in the VIP club, like I said before, but I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to the first half of the video, what are your thoughts on everything that I shared? That we're seeing Walmart and Target begin to suffer right now, that we're seeing Home Depot not really doing too bad, but they are seeing a decline in certain areas. Do you think that this major shift in consumer spending habits is going to have a positive or negative impact on the economy. And regardless of which way you think it's gonna go, do you think it's gonna be mainly in the short term or do you think it's gonna be a long lasting, long term issue on the economy? And then of course, when it comes to the silver and the gold, what are your thoughts on the concept of being your own bank and banking on your own terms and doing things the way that you want to and god forbid something happens you, you you stumble into a rough patch and you need some currency you can take some of your silver you can take some of your gold you can cash out take care of whatever it needs to be taken care of and you gave yourself a loan now you have to pay yourself back and maybe even add interest head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic if you guys like today's video please hit that like button Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. T-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs, and a bunch of different designs. And a lot of the products are helping us raise some funds and awareness for different charity organizations, by the way. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Use promo code FLASH for a 10% discount through Sunday night. 
come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, which is where I do giveaways, live streams multiple times a week. I might do a short live stream today if what I order arrives in the mail. Deal alerts on silver and gold almost every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. You can watch Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's videos right now if you want to. And every Saturday morning, I post a brand new vlog. And there are a ton of other perks as well, by the way. VIP club link in the description. I guarantee you the value exceeds the cost. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your six free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Normally it's two. They bumped it up to six for a limited time only, so capitalize on that. While you can, you can deposit any amount, even as little as a penny, and it still works. You still get your free stocks. If you refer one friend to the app within the next two to three weeks, they're going to give you all the way up to 100 free random stocks. This is part of their advertising budget. Rather than wasting currency on billboards and TV commercials, they reward their users for helping them build their app with them. And of course, if you refer two friends by the end of the month, they're going to give you either a free share of Starbucks, Apple, or Google. It's completely random. You get what you get and you don't get upset, but you win no matter what because you're getting something out of it regardless. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. Time is running out. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway. They're free. Then just sell them. Congratulations. Now you have the cash to go and get you some silver or maybe some gold if that's what you want. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to the first half of the video, talking about why I personally believe we are seeing a major shift in consumer spending habits and people are focusing less on things to own and more on things to do. Do you think that this is going to be long lasting? Do you think that this is going to be just a temporary bump in the road? Do you think it's going to have a long term positive or a long term negative impact on the economy or maybe won't even have a long term impact at all? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And then, of course, when it comes to silver, gold, and being your own bank, what are your thoughts on my concept when it comes to giving yourself a loan? If you're banking on your own terms, you can borrow on your own terms and you can lend on your own terms. What are your thoughts on lending yourself a little bit of silver and then paying yourself back a little bit of silver plus interest? What are your thoughts on that concept right there? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.